Hello and welcome back to Dance with Shaka Lee TV. I am Shaka Lee, I am a heels dancer and movement artist and I'm here to bring some movement to your day. Okay, so in today's video, I am doing a very fast, short little warm up video for anyone who's a performer, anyone who might be a go go dancer, or maybe they're just filming on set um, and there is no time for a traditional warm up, but you will be using your body. Um, so I want to make sure you are warmed up and ready to go so that you don't have any injuries and that you do stay safe. Okay, I have been a performer for many, many years. I have been a go go dancer, I have been a performer in heels. Uh, for many shows and live events and I know the importance of warming up you usually get into the venue and it's cold uh, you wait around for what seems like hours and then all of a sudden you're called up on stage you really don't know when it's coming so it's hard to stay warm the entire time so I put together a very short video it's about five minutes for a warm-up that you can do uh, you can take bits and pieces of it you can do the full thing if you have time everything is modifiable so you don't actually have to um, end up doing everything because costume uh, can need modification for some movements or potentially your footwear. Uh, but if you do have time and if you are without heels, then this is a great little warm up for you to do before your performance. Okay. Full body. We get into shoulders. We get into arms. We get into legs. We get in a little bit into core. So everything is here for you. Okay. You can decide to listen to a song if you'd like to, or there may be music playing for you in the venue that you can sync this up to. Of course, no music, no music is necessary. Uh, you can just do this alongside me if you need. One thing to note is that you might be in a state of adrenaline, which means that your body is using your own energy in different ways than it's used to. It's either all going up into the jaw or all going down into your legs, okay? And so sometimes we tense the jaw when we are on stage, we are performing. Um, it takes a lot to be able to unclench that jaw. Yes, yeah, sometimes we feel like we have Bambi legs going on stage. So doing a proper warm up is gonna get your body to remember how to use its energy properly, how to use its uh, blood flow and things like that. That so that your adrenaline doesn't trick you into uh, a whole new state of body awareness when you are on stage just because some things are different you know you have an audience you might be off the you know level ground uh, you might be on a podium or something like that but you shouldn't feel that much different and if you do a full body warm-up like this one right here then you will be able to tap into the natural way that you always move that you always take classes that you always dance or perform uh, so that you can take that self of you on stage and not get tricked into feeling like a whole new person with different uh, feelings and energies. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I like to start by just twisting side to side. This is going to warm up your spine. Yes, your lower and mid back. I like to take my elbows and just go side to side, making sure your hips are not moving with you. Yes, if they're staying nice and isolated, this is just upper body and chest. Yeah, then I like to go into my shoulders. Nice couple good deep shoulder rolls and then don't forget to go the other way. Yes, nice, get loose in the knees. You can really start grounding down. Then next is the head. I like to take it side to side. Yes, let ear roll over to the shoulder. And then I like to take it all the way around two times in each direction, getting all those kinks out, yes? Remember to keep loose knees to stay nice and stable. Nice. Then I like to take some big, deep, big body breaths. Yes, opening and coming down, really going far deep down into your open squat or your plie, making sure that your knees are coming out to the side and over your toes. Yes, good. Okay, on this next one, I'm gonna fold over, keeping my legs straight and I just can hang here. Oh, this is nice. I can go over to one leg and stretch one leg out at a time. And then the other leg, just getting like a nice deep little stretch, waking up all those muscles. Yeah, then I like to either walk my hands out in front of me, or if you are in heels and you don't have the ability to, or you simply don't want to put your hands on the floor, then you can just rock side to side, bending one leg at a time, really utilizing that lower core and those legs to really get engaged. Nice. 
And then after some of those, I'd like to come into a bit of a lunge. This is just gonna be your stretching uh, portion. If you are doing anything like some big floor work moves or potentially even a split to start really waking up those muscles here. Um, if you'd like to put your knee on the floor, drop down, that's possible for you totally. Um, then I like to always come forward to the front, really get that in deep stretch here in the leg. And then I like to go to the other side, do it all the way on the other side too, yes? Stretching out that inside leg, <sighs> breathing, don't forget to breathe, coming up into a lunge again, yes. If you have the space, go for these. <laughs> um, and then again, if you'd like to drop that knee, untuck those toes, sink a little bit deeper into that stretch, that does feel nice, good. Okay, you wanna come back up, I like to just come to the middle, bend and roll it up. And then I like to take an arm across. Yes, waking up those arms, waking up those shoulder blades. Ah, stretching everything out, good. Taking this hand back, down the back, down the spine, yes, good. Next arm, and then after this, we are gonna go into squats. Okay, ready, here we go. We go down, remember to really use your glutes. If you find that you often have Bambi legs on stage, then anything that gets you deep into your legs and into your glutes is gonna remind your body what it should feel like. Okay, this time take one leg out, yes? Yes. It's gonna put the energy back into those legs so that you can utilize your legs properly. Over to the other side, nice, good. Ooh, breathing always. Yes, this is gonna feel much different if you only are wearing heels right now, but do your best. If you are not wearing heels, I do like to take some time to walk through the feet. Yes, really get those toes prepared, those ankles prepared. Yes, even do a little circle. Feel through the feet as much as you can. And again, if you have the time coming up into some little rises for your ankles, for your calves, really getting the strength happening in there a little bit. Good, good, this should be feeling good. Now, of course, getting into those hips, side to side a little, and then all the way around. Yes, you really wanna find that nice deep isolation in here, open up those hips, make them feel really juicy, other way, yes. And then same goes for the chest, that's gonna feel really nice to really open yourself up. <sighs> open up the chest, keep yourself breathing, other way. Good, yes, yes, yes. And then I like to do some body rolls. Yes, this encourages the whole body to sync up, to find that beat, yes. And you get some, some little bit of core work happening here too, yes. Yes, and then you guys are really feeling yourself, feeling the music, feeling your body, and really having a moment with yourself before you end up going on stage and performing. Right now, you should be a little sweaty, you should be warm, okay? And hopefully that energy is driving down into your legs and not up into your jaw um, so that you can go and put on a great performance, okay? And tune in, I am gonna have a post-performance cool down video coming up very shortly for you so that after you do a dance, you can also do a proper cool down. Please like this video if it was helpful for you, share it with your performer friends, comment below on something else you'd love me to break down or if you'd love to see on this channel and have yourselves a great performance. I will see you all in the next video.